Lindsay got me this coffee maker for Christmas. It's wonderful. This is the mug that I'm using. Can you see? Got it in Japan. You know, Mikey Way loves the mug. I'm probably going to give it to Mikey Way. We have a lot of mugs. So I'm about to start my day. And, uh, well, I've started my day. Um, and uh, I think I'm about to write some Umbrella Academy. So I thought maybe of giving you guys a tour of the office. Um, so maybe I'll do that after I drink some more coffee. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. I mean, how's your day going? You know, I hope it's going good. Oh, let me show you this guitar. I had loaned it to Ray Toro for a little bit. Um, there are these old cowboy guitars. Can you see it? You can get them on eBay and stuff. They used to make them for little kids. This one's a Lone Ranger. But it actually has a really cool sound. Um, has a hard time staying in tune, but... But it has a cool sound if that's what you're looking for. That's that. Um, I, I got this other guitar. Hold on. I'm really psyched on this one. Ah, this is David Gilmore Stratocaster. And uh, I found it used at Chicago Music Exchange. And it's all black, black pickguard. It's got some really cool features like this switch here that does uh, the backs open. That's pretty cool. Um, sounds great. I gotta get the action fixed a little. But. I love it. It plays great. And it's loud as hell. You know, it's really loud as hell. Um, yeah, I plugged it into like a few different amps at Chicago Music Exchange and I really liked it. It comes with a cool book and everything. Um, I, I don't normally play Stratocasters. I play Telecasters and Jazzmasters, but it's good to have a really good Stratocaster. And this is probably one of the best ones they've made. And I got it at a really good price. So, got that. Uh, let's see what else is going on. I'll drink some more coffee. Oh, that's wonderful, really. It's wonderful. Oh, this is the guitar. I'm just showing you my guitars now. This is the guitar that Fender made me and Michael Schultz made for me. You've seen a picture of this, but this thing's really cool. Super cool. Um, also sounds great. Really unique sound plugged in because it has a Gretsch pickup, I believe.
great. It plays great. It's got this cool kind of slab body. Um, it's just awesome. I love the neck. It's a Telecaster neck, which is crazy. So you have a reverse Jazzmaster body and a Telecaster neck. So basically two of my favorite things together, a Jazzmaster and a Telecaster. Isn't that wonderful? That's wonderful. All right, let me show you the office. Um, this is my computer. Oh, cool, now I can see. My, view, my computer. Um, oh, is that Star Wars RPG? Yeah, that um, we're playing. It's super awesome. Let's see what else. Uh, so this is my, this I'm super psyched on. This is my, um, all the stuff I keep close for reference. Um, like my favorite graphic novels. A lot of people seem to notice this, the Akira's. These are the Japanese versions of the book, so they're not in English. But what's really cool about them is they're all colored, like the papers on the edges are yellow and baby blue. So they're all colored. And that's pretty cool. That's my copy of Dune that I love. Um, it's another RPG. These are some toys. <laughs> toys. Um, oh, this is my collection of Michael Moorcock novels. All the Elric stuff. This is a uh, holiday special Boba Fett that I'm kind of obsessed with the color scheme. Let's see. Um, oh, that's the Eisner. That's the Harvey. And this is all vinyl. There's all vinyl in here, too. Um, a lot of this vinyl is Lindsay's. And that's my picture from the first time I spoke at the Oxford Union. I just got to speak there again. It was really cool. Oh, these are my, oh God. Look at this, oh, the dorky stuff. These are the Jumbo Star Wars figures. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. I just have the Bounty Hunters, but I got a couple more. What's my favorite thing on vinyl? Um, I can show you, wait, where is it? I think it's down here. My favorite thing on vinyl. Should be here unless I put it over by the player. It's over by, oh, no, here it is. This is Low by David Bowie. My favorite Bowie album. Well, my favorite Bowie albums, there's three of them. My Desert Island album is um, Ziggy Stardust. But my favorite Bowie album is Low. My other favorite Bowie album is Station to Station. And I kind of go back and forth between them. Um, I'm going to play this today. This is my turntable that Lynn's got me for Christmas. Super sweet. And why don't I put on some vinyl? Hold on a second. You could look at. You could look at that for the time being. It's in all this plastic because it's a, it's an original pressing, and because of that, it sounds amazing. This is a really great record because it's so different. Side A and side B are so different. And play some vinyl, you know. Okay, she also got me these awesome speakers. She's amazing. So there's uh there's love. That, that, this is something amazing that Lynn's made me. I love her art. It's my new printer. We're out of coffee pods, so uh, I gotta get, uh, I gotta get more. I actually ordered them, so they should be on the way. There's the espresso maker. Let me show this door. This is like a seating area in my office. It's pretty cool, I have a little sitting area. And there is, obviously, Mouse Cat. I love keeping this around. Makes me very happy. So this is what I do, I hang out in the office, and uh, 
you know, I um, write stuff all day. I write music, I write comics, I draw pictures, and I'm gonna drink a little more coffee. I already went through one of these today at the gas station I saw this. They now make iced coffee, so I pounded that. So right now we're just gonna listen to some David Bowie and, uh, and drink coffee. gonna answer some text messages. This is my friend Jason. They had a big sale today at Universal. They were, they were selling a bunch of costumes and props. And he got a, he got a suit of armor. So I'm pretty psyched for him. Uh, what's going on? Let's see. Um, there's a lot going on. I am writing New Umbrella Academy. I'm writing another comic that pretty soon may be in September at New York Comic Con we can talk about. I don't know if I'll be there, I probably won't because I'll be in Russia, which I'm super excited about being in Russia. Um, I had such a good time there last time. It was just magical, it was really great. All the shows were great. Russia really, really stuck out. <clears throat> Um, let's see what else. Um, so I'm doing those two things. I have a music session coming up. I'm really excited about that. And I'm trying to do direction, which would be really fun. Um, we'll see if it works. I think it'll work. I have a good feeling about it. And um, that's it. So I'm in kind of like a create mode where I'm just creating a bunch of stuff now. And then, you know, it should all be coming out next year. So that's exciting. I hope Umbrella Academy starts coming out this year. Gabrielle is one, Gabrielle Ba is one of the best artists, period. Um, making comics, uh, doing editorial stuff in his, in his, in his home city. Um, he, he makes my job so unbelievably exciting. And let me turn this down a little. So he makes my job like super exciting. And um, it's just a pleasure to work with him. He's really fast too. So I have to get ahead of Gabrielle by like a couple of um, scripts, at least two to three scripts. I have to get ahead of him because otherwise he'll, he'll smoke me. And, uh, but um, we're both really excited to, get Umbrella up and running again. The plan is to do two, um, the plan is to do two in a row. I think there's gonna be maybe a two issue, like a two-parter in between. Um, that'll be fun, because I really always wanted to tell Space Boy's origin. So I think I'm gonna spend two issues doing that after Hotel Oblivion, and then we'll go into another series. Um, let me show you something. I'm thinking about making a print of. I really love this drawing. I'm like super proud of it. Um, so I'm thinking of making a print, and I did not do the colors. Matt Wilson did the colors, who is the colorist on Wicked and Divine, a uh, ton of, a bunch of other books. Um, you know, all that stuff. So how are you guys doing? This was after, so I did this, um, I did this after spending about two months to digital art, like incredibly resistant to digital art. Um, we, it wasn't a requirement in art school when I went. So we learned everything like analog and everything from lettering to everything um, and uh, 
so I kind of fought it for years, and then I started drawing on um, the iPad, and I got hooked. Um, but Matt Wilson is probably one of the best colorists, period. And so, you know, thinking about making a print of that, I think it would be fun. And it's cool, because it's part of the process. This was going to be a comic, and it may still be a comic eventually. But as it is now, it's just like this this kind of liquid kind of idea. I just wanted a bunch of interesting characters together. So, let's see. That's that. Drink some more coffee. So this is kind of fun. I think I like this. I think I'll use it again. I think so. It'll be fun. Um... Yeah, so that's what's going on with me. I'm really lucky to have uh, the kind of life I I do. I'm I'm eternally grateful for my family, and that's the best part. And then the bonus is getting to make art for a living, and you guys supporting me doing that, and I really appreciate that. Really. You know, it makes it so I, I don't know, I, I hope to be making art when I'm 80, if I make it to 80, you know, maybe I won't, but I'll make a bunch of art on the way up, you know. Sean Simon just texted me, let's see what he's, Sean Simon was uh, my partner on uh, True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, and he's, he's, oh, I can't show you what he just sent me. Um, he, he was the, he was my partner on True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys, and he's an amazing writer, he's really emerging now, he's got some really cool stuff going on, um, in comics, one of which I think will be announced soon, that's really amazing, you know, so, yeah, I don't know, I hope you guys have a good day, you know, um, I hope you get accomplished what you want to get accomplished, um, I hope, uh, things are smooth and positive for you, you know, um, you know, just be good to each other out there, hang out, have a good time, share ideas, make some art, make some writing, make some anything, make some anything, that's what I'd say, um, so yeah, let's see what else, that's kind of it, you know, I think uh, I'm going to say goodbye now, and uh, we'll see how this went. And, um, yeah, because i got to work, so I'm going to say goodbye. Bye.